Okay, it's Sunday, 26th of February. It was 10.35 a.m. It's now 10.37 a.m. We had a big earthquake. It was big enough here to spill this coffee. As you see, the coffee is about an inch below the top, and it spills it. That's how much movement we had. The actual initial earthquake was for about, I guess, about five seconds. And then the rocking, it carried on for about 30 seconds. A noticeable rocking, like a ship movement. Okay, according to the USGS, it was a magnitude 5.9, located in Pingdong, about 70 kilometers away from where I am, which is in Tainan, around here. And it occurred at 2.35 a.m. approximately, UTC time. It was at a depth of 4.7 kilometers. And this is what the seismographs look like soon after the quake. And if we go down here a bit, here we have the seismograph from Taipei measuring the quake. And this is what it looked like about 30 minutes after the quake in the Taiwan seismographs. Internationally, it's been called a 5.9, but according to the local seismologists, it's a 6.1. Okay, so let's do a refresh. We're about we're about three hours after the event now. So, as you can see, it showed up uh, all around the world, even in Cuba was especially in China Thailand, Chiang Mai, Thailand Australia, Philippines so this is a plate movement that occurred everywhere Guam Korea it showed up in Norway Japan, of course. There's Japan there. And Russia. New Zealand. So it's on the Pacific plate still. And this is the Taiwan chart as it looks like now, right now. And again, Russia again. Okay, if you just look at this, this is Taiwan. This is where it showed up initially in Russia. And then it actually got larger from that point. This is, you can see this across lots of different size regards, but we'll just check this one. This is where it appears it first occurred in Russia. And then the real shaking in Russia happened. It would have been a slow movement, it's not really a big shake, it would have been a slow rocking. Happened. Uh, what, 30 minutes later after the first shock hit so I suspect these sort of things are actually plate movements a cascade of plate movements one plate moves and others move uh, in response to it and it, the movement carries on plate to plate so this is actually a, a small relatively small event if you like which triggered events around the world this is not just shock waves otherwise you wouldn't have the other situation where you have a 5.9 and it never shows up anywhere this is one of those earthquakes that shows up everywhere so the energy level involved is not measured correctly because obviously these energy being discharged released at other places um, other plates so this is a general shuffling of plates I think these kind of worldwide wobble events actually one plate moves and other plates move in a cascade of movements okay so it's all around the world it's not a significant one like uh, you'd seen after the Japan quake we had this sort of movement going on for four days but for an hour had a movement recorded around the world from a 5.9 shallow quake, supposedly, uh, in Taiwan. Okay, thank you for watching.